Okay, so uh, I've actually this is this is uh, working. Um, uh, I did a quick test there, but I'm just waiting for the glue to dry. Um, what I've done is I've taken two two cables, um, and what I've done is I've soldered them onto the the back of where the the RP head is on the Amstrad, uh, and it's a kind of basic cable and job. On the other end of this, now it's. Looks like it's been slimed, but it's actually that's just hot glue that's just drying there. Um, what I've done is I've drilled a hole um, on the side, and uh, I've got a a mono um, audio jack, and basically word. It's three now. This is the thing. If I'm wrong with this, correct me please, because it's uh, I'm still working this out as I go. It's three points: so one for ground, uh, and the other two, one for the pin and one for the edge of the. The headphone jack. Now I haven't wired anything to ground. Um, if I, if you can tell me what to wire to ground, do. But um, I've wired the uh, the two cables um, to the the two headphone jack points. And what happens is I'm going to show you in a minute. Is basically you connect in uh, an MP3 player. I'm using an old PDA. Uh, that's your cable there. And it bypasses the entire tape mechanism. Uh, it bypasses the, the read playhead basically because it's not actually using it to read magnetic tape. And it basically takes the audio directly in. Um, now, I, there's a, a chap, and it's in French, so kind of, I just kind of tried to translate it and guess what he did. Um, I'll put his link up there. Um, and there's also the CPC wiki site as well. Uh, I have a, a, a slightly different method of doing it. But... Um, I did a test with this a few minutes ago and I was able to get the Akari Warriors uh, loading screen coming up. So um, I'll show you it working in a few minutes once the glue is hardened. And uh, yeah, there you go. So like I said, this is this particular Amstrad, the tape drive is dead. Uh, it's just not playing properly. Um, so I've bypassed the entire tape mechanism, which I wanted to do anyway. And we'll be able to load things up from, from uh, MP3. Um, so yeah, we'll show you it working now, hopefully. Okay, so here it is. Now, I don't know if you can hear there. A bit of static now. I think um, it's because I need to actually shield those cables, and they're picking up the motor inside the, uh, the CPC uh, and the tape drive. Um, I could be wrong though, um, but uh, I'm gonna have to go back and put a little bit of shielding over them. But there you go. So hit play, press the NE key now. I've had, like, from loading up a few of these uh, MP3s, this is the one that seemed to work most for me. Um, if you can see it there. Loading Elite Block 1. Um, it's a flickery screen. Um, some of the other tried, I tried Bomb Jack and one or two others and it didn't seem to work. Now again, I don't know if that's interference or just the way it's encoded or voodoo or sunspot activity or whatever um, but um, doesn't seem to be loading too well but what we'll do is rather than uh, rather than make you wait uh, 10 minutes while this loads I'll, uh, I'll just jump ahead and show you the finished product well there we go, bit of a carry ok see you in a minute ok really quickly uh, just to prove that it is working uh, this is it here and this is a carry warriors Considering I'm playing this by moving it around uh, with my torso, it's not too bad. Anyway, there you go. Uh, that's the uh, line in mod. Now, what you hear behind you there is the music from 1942. Uh, what I ended up doing was taking the uh, Amstrad part one last time, uh, removing all the cabling, um, sheathing it, in other words, putting a little, uh, little plastic sheath from a it's from an ORF cable around uh, the two cables it soldered on um, and then sealing everything up again and it was grand. So either use audio cable um, which is pre-sheathed or else just make sure you have something you know covers it. So uh, that's that's it. Um, well, well, one last mod I want to do with the Amstrad is just fix the, the keys and it registering property space and the little joystick keys don't seem to be working. So um, that may be the hardest mod of all but uh, 
there you go. Anyway, listen, I hope this is some use. Um, I'll try and put up a link um, to maybe a couple of screenshots of what I did. Um, thanks again. To, uh, I'll put links in the original posters. There was a chap, I can't think of his name, but uh, he, it was a French language page. I'm doing the particular mod I did. And uh, the guys over CBC Wiki um, were a pretty big help as well. So um, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.